to apply varying distributed load and a point load on a single steel column in the class structural designer. At first, we need to model the steel column by creating grid lines in the horizontal and vertical direction. After which, you navigate to the steel column and in the steel column properties, you set the section. Pick at the grid line intersections to have the column placed, navigate to 3D and we move to the load cases and combinations. In the load tab, load cases, here are the default load cases in Tecla Structural Designer. We work with the dead load, click on the OK options, navigate to activate the dead load and then move to the varying distributed load. Click on that. In the properties right there, we have the load at start and at end. We will be going in the global X direction. Navigate to the column, pick at the bottom constraint of the column and then the top constraint to have the varying distributed load placed successfully. Move to the northern load, which is the point load, pick on that and then in eight properties, we go in the gravitational directions, 100 kilo Newton, and then pick at the top constraint to have it placed just like this. This is how you apply varying distributed load and a point load on a single steel column in Tecla Structural Designer.